Hey everybody, Daniel from the Venza Dutch office. Welcome to another reaction video with me as always, Sean Shields from the Roswell office. He's doing, he's, it's, he's always inventing new hand signals. I don't know, he's either waving to us, wipe off. Oh, he's karate kidding. That's what he's doing, okay. Keep me guessing. All right, we've got a couple friends from the industry. They're gonna share uh, their raw reactions, but before they do, let's find out who they are. Let's start with you, Joost. Tell us about yourself. Hi, all. Thanks for having me. Uh, Joost Duvenans from Amsterdam. Uh, I'm head of sales at Proper Sales. I've uh, been around in the hospitality travel tech for, for a while. And uh, not as long as you guys, but it uh, feels, <laughs> feels like for a while. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Ooh, glad to have you, sir. Yes. And Shots fired. Yeah. Shots fired. Shots. <laughs> we still love you. It's all still love. That's right. So um, let's find out about uh, Dell. Tell us about yourself. So uh, Dell Ross, I'm the Chief Revenue Officer of Hotel Effectiveness. I've been in the industry, as Yost very kindly pointed out, for quite some time. Um, actually, when I started, I had hair like his. Um, and, see, what, uh, see what hospitality does to you? <laughs> <laughs> it was all for love. It was all for love. Um, and, and so I've, I've uh, had a, just about every role in the in the industry, put heads in beds, corporate franchising, sales, and then for the last several years have been really focusing on operations uh, implications, operational improvement, largely facilitated through technology. And hotel effectiveness is part of Actable, which is a uh, uh, four different products all around operations technology. We were just acquired about a month ago, and uh, we're super excited about it. Yeah, very great. Yeah, we saw your um, saw your Actable um, uh, booth uh, there at High Tech and all the activity around that. So that was pretty cool. Pretty activity about Actable. So pretty pretty fun. Oh, okay. All right. You. So yeah. you guys know how this works. Sean's going to share something on his screen. I got a question for you guys. We'll find out what you have to say about it. And any, anytime you're ready, Mr. Shields. Okay, so uh, Booking Holdings, uh, bookings.com, etc. as you guys all know, um, uh, this is an article about the challenge that uh, they have with the, the correction or the, the adjustment in the exchange uh, rate between the Euro and the USD. I'm not asking you specifically about the, what the, the, the issue in the article, but I thought it's timely. Um, uh, and my question to, to you guys, do you see the, uh, do you see that this pretty significant adjustment between the Euro and the USD? Do you see this as uh, providing an impact, a boon for travel in Europe? contraction for travel in the US, the opposite, or no, uh, um, no, no impact whatsoever, the chain, you know, the, the exchange rate, people are coming to Europe, if they're going to get, they're going to get 95 cents for their dollar or 85 cents or a euro for the dollar, it really doesn't matter or, or does it? What are your, what are your thoughts from the American perspective, Dell? What do you think? Do you think this will impact global it travel? Matters, it matters a lot. Two things have come to play here. One is we, uh, the U.S. dropped its travel restriction for returning to the country or entering the country, and that's really helpful. It reduces a roadblock. Um, but the Revenge Travel 2.0 is in full swing, and because of the, um, the value of the dollar, this is the flip side of the, the drop in value of the euro, Europe's on sale for Americans, and they are taking advantage of it as part of this revenge travel cycle. I can tell you that anecdotally, it seems like every other person I know has either just returned from Europe or is planning a trip to Europe uh, over this summer vacation time period. Um, and I don't think that's going to slow down. So that should, well, for the industry, it should be very good. For booking, if they haven't really capitalized on their global footprint and they're still Euro dependent, uh, then, yeah, they could see some problems, but I suspect they're going to be all right. Yeah. All right. Yost, are you ready for a deluge of Americans coming on in? Let's have, tell me what you guys do there here in Netherlands. What do you, what guess, do you think? I guess the Americans coming to Europe for a week and trying to see whole Europe within five days and <laughs> spend half a day in Amsterdam, half a day in Paris, half a day in London, half a day in Barcelona is yeah, not going to check it out. 
to this. Check. Uh, I guess like corporate travel has been slowed down. I'm not sure if that is because of the, the current value of the, the dollar. Uh, I think the war and Corona and COVID definitely do impact corporate travel. Like if you decide to, to go on a business trip or host an event and you get to choose between the US and Europe, I might think you choose Europe, uh, the US. Um, but I agree, like, uh, I, I don't think Booking.com is going to be in big trouble. Uh, the Dutch government is treating them very well uh, <laughs> with, uh, with some support here and there. So I think that's going to be fine. Uh, but it, it's mainly, I think, corporate travel. Uh, interesting to see yeah. what happens there. Yeah, yeah. It's just been an interest, very interesting sudden change. Uh, it's something that as an American living in Europe, I'm I'm always kind of uh, always hyper aware of, and to see this this adjustment has been it's been pretty shocking. We'll see we'll see how much how much more adjustment it, it comes and how long the the war prolongs, etc. It's just a lot of a lot of things in flux, as if we didn't have enough in flux before. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very great. Well, thank you guys for your for your input. Appreciate it. Sean Shields, before we part, any any thoughts on exchange rates? It's a good time for you to come and pay me a visit, pal. That's what I was thinking. I was like, you know, maybe we could go halvesies. You know, I don't know. I, I, I'll I'll take I'll, I'll do my 85 cents. You know, it's cool. You know, if you just give me 85 cents, I'm, I'm good. I'll, I'll, I'll make it work. <laughs> Well, it's a good time. For I'm you sleeping on your you couch can... anyway, so yes, you know. Yeah, that's right. I mean, absolutely. You're welcome to stay as as long <laughs> as you like. It's now recorded, and now you can... just just be clear. Like, hotel people in said... the audience, hotel people in the audience don't want to hear about couch surfers. No. Yeah, yes, don't. <laughs> that's right. Hoteliers are like Johnson. You're taking away my 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 revenue. I'm I'm looking for occupancy. Yeah, Sean, we will. No we'll one would have me on their couch. A hotel trust me. of one of our customers, huh? No one would have me on their couch. You know, it's just <laughs> it's really dangerous talk for me to say. You could stay as long as you like. That we is all like know so where I'm going scary. in a hotel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll put you up with one of our customers. It'll be you'll. It'll be a lovely experience. Very great. Thanks, you guys. We'll see you next time. Thanks to everybody out there. We'll see you at the next reaction video. Ooh.